Hello, hello. Hi, guys. Just going to pull up everything on my computer just across from my screen up here so I can see you guys. Hopefully, this thing will cooperate with me today. All right. We are on the money today, people. Mute that. Hooray! I'm so happy. Facebook is cooperating today. Da, 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 da. Wow, this thing is really sticking into the frame. Well, hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. We're gonna play with some fun, um, Photo play stuff today in Spellbinders. Hi, Marie. Welcome, welcome. New Jersey. Oh, what's the weather like for you guys right now? I'm curious. Hi, Beth. What's the weather for you like, Beth, in North Carolina? We got our first snowfall here in uh, southeastern uh, <laughs> Alberta. Yeah, it's rain. It's raining right now. It's the snow has changed to rain right now for us too. So yeah, it's kind of a gray day out there, but it's, it's been really nice up until today. So yeah. Raining, it just makes for a good excuse to craft, right? <laughs> oh, and I have things stuck to my desk. Look at that. Do you guys have stuff stuck to your desk? This is just a random piece of masking paper. <laughs> Because I stick them up above, like up here, because I reuse them, right? <laughs> it's in the 70s today. Okay, so you're on the cooler side. Yeah. Yeah, we've had a relatively warm fall up until this week. So, yeah. But we got our first bout of winter. It didn't last very long, though. I don't know if there's even any left on the ground now. Because the rain has just melted everything away. So, yeah. Are you guys ready to have some fun? We're going to make a tunnel card today. All right. So, let's start off. I'm just going to show you kind of what we're going to make today. We're going to adapt it to some of our other products. So, we're going to be using the Spellbinders Special Pet Delivery. And this die is so freaking adorable. Okay, so let's take a closer look here. I'm going to bring you guys in, hopefully. I won't. Okay, there we go. So this die is jam-packed full of different dies. So there's a pretty little scalloped oval with an inner die cut. You can kind of see it there. Um, there's two faces for pets. So there's um, like a more oval one and then there's kind of like a longer one for puppies so puppy and a kitty and this one says for you and hello and this goes on top of the banner base and this is the body of your critter this is kind of like the chest plate of your critter and we have two little paws and this is the um, the banner or the brim of the hat and there's the pom-pom of the hat we have inner kitty ears so that's like the inner part of the ears and then we have like patches to put around the eyes if you want to on your critter there of course is the hat base this is actually a collar that you can put on your animal and a little teeny bow with two parts this is critter arms so there is a better view. This is like the hands that come out in front of the body. And then our last little piece contains a few things. So there's antlers. And this is also the piece that goes on top of the antlers for the headband. These are kitty ears. And here's a pair of doggy ears. So lots of intricate pieces in this, but it makes the most adorable card fronts and card innards. So let me show you what we did with that. So I did a puppy on the outside and I cut everything out in white because why not customize your little critter? 
So everything was die cut in white and then everything has been colored with Copics. And we're going to do the same today because I want to show you that you don't need colored cardstock to do this. Okay, this is what a tunnel card looks like. Are you ready? Okay. Hang on, let me just bend it back a little bit. And inside I have our cute little kitty. And she's wearing that adorable little antler set. And I customized it's our little kitty, our kitty has stripes. <laughs> and I put a little bow tie on her without the strings, and that's okay too. But aren't the cute little arms, they just kind of pop out and around the body. This die set is so adorable. And then we used a fun stencil, and I'm going to show you that too. And let's talk a little bit more about the tunnel cards. Okay, I'm going to set this aside. So this is a product developed by Photoplay. And it comes in a package, okay? It includes everything that you'll need to make the card. Okay, which some of them require dies, and this one requires circle dies. And there is enough to make three full tunnel cards in this kit. And each kit is different, okay? And inside, you want to keep this insert because it gives you step-by-step -step instructions. Like step one, you want to do this, where to put your adhesives, where to fold. So this is great. And I would keep these instructions even if you've used all the bases because you can use it to make your own version, right? Super cute. So that's what we're going to do today. Yes, Beth says, these dyes would make a cute pumpkin also. I love the kitty. I know, isn't it cute? Okay, so we're going to pull in some Scorpel tape to do our card base. And I'm going to set this aside. We're going to do our card base first, okay? So you're just basically, you're going to follow along. This card happens to have three separate sets of innards, <laughs> okay? So this one has a card base, and I'm going to follow the instructions here. So it says locate the, the card base. Now this is kind of an interesting card base because it's not scored at the halfway mark. It's scored differently okay so when i fold it here i'm gonna bring in my bone folder just to crease this little fella up okay see how it has an offset there's a piece missing and there's a piece missing for good reason okay so you'll need to know that and this, this is written in all the instructions too so very very easy to follow along so we're gonna set our other card base off to the side here and I've got my instructions open on the other side here, just so you guys are aware what I'm looking at. We have, says we're gonna locate the window one panel. And the lovely thing about this is that they are, are physically labeled. Look, window one, die cut this panel with largest die shape. Okay, so we're gonna do that exact instruction. So this particular, Tunnel card comes with two circular dies. Already there. You don't even have to have circle dies. This is great. Okay, so you're going to need to take the largest of the two. Okay, and then you position basically wherever you want your die to be. And I've got some low tack tape here. I just keep reusing my pieces until they're no longer sticky. Okay, so just make sure you know it's kind of where you want it, and then you're going to put it through your die cutting machine. This won't go fully on camera, and I'm going to get rid of my plate here. I'm going to use my less warped plate <laughs> for this so it doesn't mark the inside of my card. Okay, so we're going to put that in, and I always die cut with the die facing up. You actually get a much better cut okay if the die is facing up okay and voila so let's put this over to the side and of course you can keep this and die cut stuff out of it or whatever floaties your boaties okay now the trick to this card Okay, it's the third piece. Okay, this one says 
Window 2. Die cut this panel with smallest die shape. Ah, but we're going to make sure that this is in the proper place. So I'm just going to grab, sorry, another piece of paper here. Now, the trick is, there's score lines, and of course you're not going to see this on camera. There are score lines, and I just want to make sure that this piece here is kind of underneath them. So you line up the top, but I also want to make sure that the score lines are in between the two score lines on that front panel. And I'm just going to hold everything kind of in place by doing this, okay? And that's just going to hold it temporarily. Now I'm going to take my smaller die and I want an even frame around this. So I'm going to position that on my window piece of cardstock, which is labeled again. And we're just going to adhere this temporarily down. And that <laughs> will allow it to be centered, okay? It just puts it in the right spot so that when the card folds open, everything is framed up nicely, okay? Just temporary fix. Let's set that aside. We're gonna, I'm just gonna run this through the, my machine off to the side here. And we'll have this done. Yes, pretty nifty, eh, Kate? These card sets are awesome. They would be a great gift for somebody too. Um, and at the end, I will show you some of the other ones that Photoplay has done. Um, because I think they, like I said, they would make a great gift for a first time card maker. Um, you might have to take your die cutting machine with you, but to, to help your friend out, but that's okay. That's what uh, crafting is all about, right? Friends. <laughs> okay. So on the sides of this, it says apply adhesive here. So who doesn't love score pile tape? Oh my goodness. Sign me up, baby. This is going to go down both sides because it says that on both sides. Woohoo! Who doesn't love the brilliance of score pile tape? Okay. So this is the tricky part. <laughs> yes, and uh, Photoplay has some great videos. Just give me one second here. Okay. So we're going to go refer back to our lovely tunnel card assembly instructions here. So we've done our die cutting and we've applied our adhesive. So now I want to make sure that we're doing this the correct way. It says put the window on the right and we are going to take window number two. This is window number two and it says we are going to lay what okay there's two fold lines and of course you can't see this there's a score line here and a second score line here they're about i don't know half an inch apart or so so it says to make sure i'm doing this on the right side here okay say you're going to line it up kind of with that secondary score line like such and you're going to fold the card back on itself and what it's going to do is it's going to adhere it in the right the correct spot okay so look woohoo she's adhered now we can before we go anywhere we can go back and reinforce that fold too before we have to fold anything else okay card base it says, now that we've got that attached to that, this is the card base and it says, put the shorter, remember how I said, there's one side that's not as big as the other. So this is the shorter side and we're gonna bring our score pile tape back in again because it's just so easy. And it says to put adhesive on the shorter side. And for ease sake, I am going to use score pile tape because it's fast. And the backing comes off this stuff like a breeze. 
and you don't need scissors to cut it. Hooray, hooray. And it comes in so many widths. Um, I have a few widths that I use. This is my most common. I think this is three-eighths of an inch. It's my well-loved size, but there are many different sizes, including sheets. Okay, we're going to take off backing paper. See, I told you it was fast. Okay. Oh, <laughs> sometimes. All right. Now it says windows have to be on the right. And we're going to line this edge up with the fold line of our card base. Okay. And I always go to the slightly to the right of that joint so it folds up a little bit better. And you just line everything up. And of course you can trim it if you need to. Okay, so now we have some flippy flappies. Okay, perfect. Now before we go any farther and we close this little fella up, up and away, we need to go and decorate this panel. And I should have done this before we put it together, but that's okay. You know, you gotta learn with me, right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna bring in. I'm gonna bring in a couple pieces of low tack tape. We're gonna use a stencil. Now, I'm gonna make this nice and clean. So, or I want it nice and clean. So there are two score lines here. I'm going to put this tape down the inner one that's closer to my cut circles. And again, like I said, this is a low tack tape, so it's not going to leave any marks and it's not going to pull up any of my paper either. Okay, I am going to stick something under there because see how this is showing? I don't want to get stencil on there. So I am literally going to just take, this is just a piece of copy paper and hopefully I got enough. Oh, of course not. Of course I didn't get enough. Hang on. <laughs> Always on a live guys. Always. Never fails. <laughs> okay. Come on little scrap. All right, there we go. That's better. Okay, I make sure I cover it all up, right? Okay. Put this where you guys can see it. And we are going to use, and I thought this was an amazing product. Let me tell you. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So this is called the Warm and Warmest Wishes Stencils. This is by, by Vicki Booten. And there's three different stencils in this. So there's like a snowfall, kind of like a geometric snowflake, and then this cool greenery. And I love this, so I want to use this one. Now the brilliance of this product is that each of these is a separate little folder, so you can put it back in to store them properly. Each one has like a cardboard base, which you could actually cut up and use this on your cards too. I think that would be awesome. And look, Vicky always does like the coolest packaging, so you could use her packaging on part of your projects, which is way cool. But we're going to use this one because it just totally piqued my fancy. I love it. Okay. Again, I'm going to bring in some pre-used <laughs> uh, tape here because I use it till it don't stick no more. Because <laughs> why waste it, right? All right. Here we go. And you don't have to use this much. You can use whatever you kind of get you to fix your uh, <laughs> your stencil down. Okay. Now we're going to use some Cove Blue ink because, let me show you. I want to use this paper pad on the front of our card. And it has kind of like a dusty blue, which matches perfectly with Cove Blue. So that's why I've decided on Cove Blue. All right, this is a Catherine Pooler ink. And if you've never tried Catherine's inks, you need to, because they're amazing. And Rhea has all of the Catherine Pooler inks in the shop, plus refills. 
And I highly recommend, if you can, to purchase refills when you purchase your ink. So if you get an ink pad like Code Blue, you want to get a refill. Um, Catherine's inks are very inky. And I don't have a lot of colored cardstock because I use her inks to make my own cardstock. I love them that much. So I'm just using a soft brush here. You can use a ink applicator like Tim Holtz's, kind of whatever you have in your stash. Um, if you don't want to buy like a whole whack of these brushes, I highly recommend Grab in yourself, and I know we all have them at home. One second here. Is a microfiber cloth. And what you do, if you want to use this with another color, you just take this and rub it across your microfiber, and you can get as much ink off as possible. And you'd always just check it on a scrap piece of paper, and then you can use it for another color. Hi, Lori from Calgary. <laughs> Calgary, I heard they got 15 centimeters. You were supposed to keep it. We got some of it today a medicine hat. Okay, let's pull this off and who doesn't love a good stencil reveal? And yes, making your own cardstock, you're guaranteed that it's gonna match your ink, right? Because you use the same ink pad to create your cardstock. Ah, uh, yay! This is why I love this stencil. It's gorgeous. Okay, so for cleaning a stencil, I just take it to my bathroom sink and I have a nail brush. I use a little tiny bit of hand soap and just use my nail brush if it needs a little scrubbing. If not, just run it under water. If it's a water-based ink, water will do it. You don't even have to use soap. Okay, okay, now we got to go in for best reveal. Hi, Holly. No, I don't want your snow, Laura. You can keep it. And like I said, use these again. Like, don't throw this out. This will work like 27 more times. Trust me. Okay. Okay. Dun, da, da, da. Love. And I, again, I'm just sticking it to my, my cabinetry in front of me. <laughs> okay. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to move our ink off to the side here, and now we're going to close it. Now that we have our lovely inky insides, we're going to close this puppy up so it is completely done. And this is the part of the instructions that I had to look at four times. Because <laughs> for some reason, it just didn't make sense to me. Okay, hang on one second here. I just want, we're going to, where is my bone folder? We're going to see if I can get this fold line folded up before we go any further. Just making sure that it folds in the right spot because if you've, you guys have been doing this for a while, sometimes it doesn't cooperate. You know how things are. And we're going to do the same to this one. Because sometimes if you use your hands and you can't fold it properly on that line, it goes wonky and then things don't line up, right? <laughs> and nobody wants that. Okay, I got stuff sticking to my nails. Okay, and there's one little feller here that needs to be pressed. Okay, now this is the part that I got to figure out. I got fluffies like everywhere today. Just have to make sure it goes in the right spot. <laughs> Because I'm a ding dong sometimes. And I want to make sure that this closes properly. Okay, I think I got this. Okay. You want to lay this flat. You want to always go back and read your instructions multiple times, right? <laughs> you don't want to do this more than once. Okay, and then just want to line everything up there. Okay, now this is going to 
pleat that little box area to create your tunnel, right? Yeah. And when it folds up properly, it will look like a tunnel. Yeehaw! Now, we have to do one more thing. We have to put adhesive right here. Again, score tape to the rescue. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, Lori, um, we are making what's called a tunnel card. And give me one second here. I will show you what our little kit looks like. Okay, and I'll show you. Sometimes, I know this size will fit there again, but... Sometimes it overlaps, so I'm going to use a thinner one to go and adhere down the other side. Like I was saying, multiple um, widths of score tape. And these are the two that I highly recommend. Three-eighths and I think this is quarter inch. Okay. One second. We'll just get this glued together and I'll bring in that tunnel card again. And for this one, just make sure this is nice and flat. And just fold this over and it just grabs that adhesive in the right spot and there we go we have a tunnel card it's so neat so I don't know hopefully I can, you guys can see that there is dimension there and that there is multiple frames right and then it's very dimensional like it's got a good half inch of dimension but this is the brilliance Folds flat, so you can fit it in a regular envelope. Hooray! Hooray! Okay, so again, this is what we're making. We're making a tunnel card today. This is a photo play paper. Um, you get three cards and the dies to make tunnel cards. And the stencil set that we're using today is Vicky Booten's Warm Wishes stencils, and there's three. I'm like, and for an awesome price. If you're looking for some great um, festive stencils, and they're huge. Like sometimes if you get a six by six, it doesn't quite go on your five and a half tall card. These are brilliant. Like I highly recommend them for sure. Okay, so we've got our tunnel card base down. And really, it didn't take that much to do, right? Okay, so let's work with our cutie patooties. Now, we'll build some pets. So, I, the sheer genius that I am, not, <laughs> um, have die cut a lot of the things that we're going to need today. And this is for time's sake, because we're already a half an hour as it is, guys. Okay, so I die cut a variety of things here. And we're going to color them and we are going to create and see all these little things. See this little itty bitty here? This is probably a nose. So you want to keep that. <laughs> so having a little bowl full of stuff so things don't walk away is a good thing. Because <laughs> you know how things disappear in your desk. <laughs> Okay, this is a hat piece. We have, look at the paws. Oh, they even have like the little teeny toes. Oops, so cute. Okay. All right. So we have lots of bodies, a couple of heads. <laughs> okay. We have rainbow, ra rainbow, reindeer. We have eye patches. We got it all, people. Okay. So, I think what we'll do, so we have something to attach them to, I'm going to bring, we need some fancy schmancy, we need these cut, and we're going to use um, some metallic paper here, one second, I thought I had it in my stash here, but I don't, I thought I had it close by, okay. So I think Rhea has this stuff in the store. And we need two of these because we're going to make two cutie patooties. So I just need two pieces of the gold mirror paper. And you can use whatever uh, cardstock you want. I love metallic, so we're going to use the gold. 
gold is kind of festive too, right? So I'm just going to cut these off to the side here. Sorry. It's just easier than trying to bring this sucker on camera because sometimes it doesn't quite fit under the camera. So I need two. So I'm just die cutting two. So the other thing today is I will give away this card to somebody who comments on my video during the live today. So if you are here and you are watching, please don't hesitate to leave a comment. Any comment along the way is great. And I will send you this card at the end of the day. Okay. So let's start by, sorry. Okay, I'm gonna bring in just a piece of paper and this is just for holding things. So I'm just gonna push all these parts up. <laughs> And we are going to, oh, pause underneath. Can't lose the pause. Okay, so I'm just going to use this as a, a holding mechanism. Not my hair. <laughs> Seriously, people, this is not good. I, got, I think I'm shedding. I don't know about you guys, but I'm shedding like a kitty right now. <laughs> okay. We're going to put this down and we're going to go back to our cove blue because I love matcha matches. Hi, Lena from BC. Welcome, welcome. Okay, just going to brush on just ever so slightly. This doesn't have to be a lot of ink. Just to take the white away from. And what I do is I stamp off on my scrap first. And this just kind of avoids you getting those lines. Like, see the lines from the brush up here? By taking off a little bit of the ink off that bristle first, before you apply it to the paper that you want to ink, it just avoids, or you're less likely to get um, brush marks. Okay, so I'm sticking my wrist to it because I want it to be less sticky because I'm using this kind of like a, a repositionable tape. This one will go a little darker. And I'm sorry if you can hear my desk squeaking. <laughs> it usually doesn't squeak. <laughs> yes, it's making weird noises today. I don't know what. Maybe it's it's got caught in the rain today, and it's just squeaky. Okay, there we go. There's our cove blue little ovals, and they are going to go on top of our gold decorative scalloped ovals. All right, brilliant. Let's get to making our critters. So, um, let's see. Let's start with our puppy. And again, I'm just applying some adhesive down and I'm going to stick my arm to it. And this just takes the really sticky aspect out of it. Okay. Now, see all these inserts here? We have a couple eyeballs, some cheeks, and a nose. So they do not get lost because I have a habit of losing things on my desk, especially when they're teeny tiny. This is what our magical bowl is for. We're just going to drop those in there so we don't lose them. And sometimes if they've, they're have still attached, just make sure you do that. Okay, so this is our puppy. And I think he needs an eye patch. What about you? So we're going to give him an eye patch. So we need to put that on there. Now we also need his ears to start off with. So we need to find the cute little ears in this pile of stuff. There's his other eye patch. Where are the ears? Here's his other. <laughs> Where are the ears? I know they're here. There's one. There's one. Where's the other one, little fellow? We need a puppy with two ears. That would be much appreciated. Okay, oh, there it is. It's, doesn't wanna, nope, that's the collar. <laughs> okay, 
I know you're in here. There it is. It's stuck under the other ear of the kitty. Okay. So this is where you get to be creative. <laughs> yes, yeah, so many parts. Hi, Karen. Yes, snowy Calgary. You can keep your snow, okay? I don't want any more. We got it here in Medicine Hat um, this morning, and that's enough. Can we be done with winter now? <laughs> okay. Puppy. Um, let's see. Let's do black and white puppy. That works for me, right? Okay, so we want his eye patch to be black. So this is just a uh, Copic marker. You do want to make sure that you get down the sides. So take it and almost trace around it. This just aids um, in making everything look good. Okay. So this is almost black. This is a W9. We're going to go in with the W's and I'm going to go fairly light. We just want to color a little bit of his head okay and I'm just taking a W1 this is a very light warm grade uh, marker and then we're gonna give him black ears so I should have done this when I did his eye no worries so again comment because I'm gonna give away this card when we are finished today hooray okay now we need eyeballs and nose. You could do a black nose on a puppy, because obviously puppies have black noses. Okay, there is another tool for this. Brilliant tool. Quick stick. Okay, by We Are Memory Keepers. And it has a little bit of like a tacky gummy substance in it that allows you to pick things up and it doesn't leave a residue. Okay, which is very, very important. I'm going to bring you in just a little bit here. Pick me, pick uh, Rhea, I promise I will send you a card for Christmas for sure. <laughs> okay, we need eyeballs and, okay, there's little fat ovals and those are cheeks. See, cheek, cheek. So you want to pick the fatter ones out first. Those are cheeks. <laughs> And this is the brilliance of using a sticky area. Okay, and then we have eyeballs too. There's an eyeball and there's an eyeball. Okay. Um, eyeballs, let's make them, let's make them blue. Cause we wanna, I'm gonna use a B95 for eyeballs. If I can get my eyeballs to stay in their place. We'll be good. <laughs> okay. And we have nose and cheeks. So we want to do pink, right? Cute pink. R21. And again, see, make sure you go down the sides. And you can use ink on these. And you can use colored cardstock. It's totally up to you. I just, to do it, I choose to do it this way because it's just so much easier to do it for me. Okay. Now, I'm going to cut a little piece of paper here. This is just copy paper, okay? This is going to be what we adhere everything to. I'm going to use it kind of like my head backer. <laughs> so I put some adhesive down, okay? And I'm literally just going to stick my head right to it. Because it's basically going to be my placeholder, okay? And then we get to basically put the puzzle pieces together. So let's start with his eyes. And his eyes are going to be like jumping beans. <laughs> Shoot. See, this is what happens. Oh, his eyes over here. Hang on, hang on. I found it. <laughs> and then you're going to puzzle piece them together. Okay. There's one eye. Two eyes. You know, just nudge them in. Thank goodness for tweezers. Okay, nose. So it's kind of like the, well, it's nose-shaped versus the ovals for the cheeks. Okay. You just basically slide them suckers in. Okay. Pick them up, slide them in. 
And if you like puzzles, then this will be the die set for you. <laughs> it is definitely fun to create these little critters. Okay. All right, next, we're going to bring in some wet adhesive. <clears throat> okay, this is his eye patch. And this is part of the reason why I went with blue eyes and not black eyes, is because if there were black eyes, it would disappear. And I don't want his little eye to disappear. And you can put this in any orientation you want. But there, he's got a little patch. And he's cute. Okay, this is where his ears come in. So wet adhesive is your best friend. And you can put them kind of wherever. You could do one cockeyed one. That would be kind of cute. You could do one flap up. You know, just get creative. <gasps> Barely Arts has arrived. Okay guys, this is my favorite glue. This is the four ounce size. Um, I'm not sure if Rhea got the four ounces or the two ounces, but I say get them. Get them, get them, get them, because this is going to last you forever. Forever. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay. Um, puppy, do we want hat or antlers? You guys decide hat or antlers. And then I'm just going to set up the kitty while you guys leave me some answers. Okay. Oh. Gotta pop out his eyes first. So hat or antlers for our puppy. So I know what I'm doing next. Oops. Because we'll do one on the cat and one on the dog. Whichever one you want on the dog though. Antlers, antlers, antlers. Okay, well you guys made that easy. Okay, so here are the antlers. They're so cute. And there's a little band that goes across this too. It just looks like the same arch. Okay. So this is why you can color that hair band or the band that goes the head band a different color. So we're going to do brown antlers, right? Like, duh. Okay. This one, E31. I'm just going to dab it. And you can, of course, go over that headband because you're going to cover it with something else. So just do, make it easier for yourself. There's the brown. And I think we need to have some festive red, right? This is R24. Just making sure I go down the edges. Done. Okay. One second here. Now the nice thing about this glue that I have found is that it takes a lot to clog this sucker. It doesn't clog very easily. So it's a very fine point, so it's perfect for using for dyes like this because you're not gonna apply like a huge glob of glue. Okay. You can, it comes with a pin. So it comes with a pin like this. Make sure you keep that pen and don't bend it like I did. Don't be a bad girl. Because that pin is stainless steel. And for some reason, I cannot find stainless steel pins anywhere. So when I did happen to um, bend my pen, uh, my pin, I was disappointed in myself because I couldn't find a replacement. Like I looked at all the quilting stores and none of them had stainless steel pins. Go figure, eh? Um, Barely Arts does sell a replacement kit, though. Hooray! Thank goodness for that. Okay. So, <laughs> he's so cute. Now, we need to stick him on his body. So, the brilliance of this is that you can just cut off anything that's showing. And it'll keep all your pieces together. So, I just kind of back cut it. Okay, peel that off. Just make sure you do it underneath. And we're going to put this on top of his body, so I'm just going to cut it completely off. So there's his head. Hooray! <laughs> okay. So we're going to do 
body and his chest plate. Okay, so you can do this however you want, but let's go back and do, let's do his body black. The beauty of um, Copic mar markers, easy peasy, one, two, three. Okay, um, my bottle is oozing today and I don't know why. It's, it must be pressurized today because of all the yucky snow. Okay. I'm going to put a tiny bit of shadowing on this. Just a wee, wee bit. Okay. Peel, peel, glue. Peel, peel, glue. Tweezers, because then I don't get stuff all over. Oh, you know what? We need to make sure that that's black all the way. There we go. Done. Just in case you can see it. Okay, and we're just going to put that there. I'm going to leave a little gap at the top because let's give him a color. So there's this little teeny piece. I don't even know what shape you would describe that as, but <laughs> we're just going to color it red. The whole piece. Easy peasy. Okay. And then again, we are going to put a little bit underneath the bottom piece of the collar and set it right on the top of the body. Uh oh, my kitty's going to come in for a visit. I just know it. Okay. And then just going to put just a little bit underneath his chin. Teek, teek, what are you doing? She sounds like she's got a mouse, but I don't know where she'd find a mouse in the house. Ha <laughs> ha. There. Oh my goodness. Look at the cuteness. Okay, you need some paws. Okay, so these ones are kind of, these ones are built kind of very coolly. Okay, so there's like three pieces for his paws. There's this one, and they're attached together. It means you don't lose them. Hooray. And then there's these two little fellas, which go on top. So we'll make his arms black. And again, you can go over everything. You don't have to go over all of it, but you do have to go over the arm, like this part of the arm. And then this, see it has like a gluing strip almost. Oh, I'm gonna have an avalanche here. <laughs> Just put a tiny bit of glue on the back. Okay, I know this is finicky, but you know what? I love doing this stuff. And then you're just going to thread this around his body. And of course, it's going to do funny things. No, no, come on, little fella. You just got it there. And this is where you get to position them kind of wherever best suits you. And then you're going to take a little bit of glue on the top because we're going to give them white paws. Okay. And then you just have to match them up for the side, right? So this one side goes there and this one is shaped to go on the other side. Nope. <laughs> That's the one for the other one. See? A duh. There we go. That's the proper one. Yes, Allison does make mistakes too. There. <laughs> there we go. We have one cutie patootie. All right. Shall we continue on with our meow meow? All right. Let's get rid of this. I'm just going to give myself a new strip of adhesive. Remember, take off the majority of the stick. We're going to start with the meow meow's face. Um... Okay, so I have an orange cat, so I'm going to do an orange kitty, if that's okay with you guys. I'm just going to double check proper oranges here. Let's go. Okay, so I'm going to start with an R31. So my orange kitty is going to be majority orange. Um, I'm going to leave his cheeks 
white. Okay, and down closer to his nose, a little bit of color. Oh, no, apparently, no, I'm going all orange. <laughs> okay, we're going to use this again. Set those off to the side. Okay, my orange kitty has stripes. Does your orange kitty have stripes? <laughs> I don't think this one is dark enough. This is an R YR24. My kitty has stripes. So I'm going to give him stripes. This is why this die is so cute. Because you can customize this to your grandma's kitty or your mom's kitty or your kid's kitty. And make these critters your own. So if you have like a, a Dalmatian. Oh my god cutest Dalmatian ever, right? There we go. So cute. And of course, it doesn't have to be perfect because the lines on a cat never are. <laughs> okay. Going to do the same thing for the kitty. We're going to use a little backer piece, right? So we're just so I can just take them off. And the reason why I put glue across the whole strip is remember he's still got eyes and cheeks and a nose that have to be stuck down so you just want to make sure that all of that has glue underneath it right so there's his his fast he's so cute okay we need to do body we need we will do that in a second we need his arms where are his arms there are his arms Tweezers will help. Okay. What else needs to be orange? I think that's it, right? Body, arms. Okay. So again, put your base down. Again, do the same. You don't have to do all the, that backer piece, but it makes things easier. You can use this for shading too. So because his shoulders are going to be back farther, just add a little bit of shading and you can do that underneath like this will be his neck right right here so you could do a little bit this way and you could also do stripes on his arms her arms whatever floats about and this one is squeaky how fun okay and I've got kitty face stuck to my <laughs> hand don't forget to comment if you would like to receive this card in the mail from me. I always draw a winner right after the live is done. So hopefully the person is still with us uh, when the time comes to post a winner. There we go. And okay. So this little guy is going to have the hat. So let's color the hat and of course I'm going, actually, let's go the blue that we use for the eyeballs. Okay, so remember this is just the base. There is the brim and the, we have a brim for the hat and then we have the pom-pom which goes over top, beep, and the brim. So yeah, cute little orange cat with a cute little blue cap. Okay, we need to do his eyeballs, cheeks. Okay, find the nose first. Nose. Cheeks are larger ovals. Because ask me how I know to pick these out because <clears throat> Allison has made a mistake and colored eyeballs for cheeks. Haha, uh -huh. don't do what I did. And then you have to, uh, <laughs> then you have to go and die cut more eyeballs. And nobody wants to have to do that. Just do it right the first time. Haha. <laughs> okay. Again, these are fiddly, but so darn cute. Okay, there we go. 
we're going to do black eyeballs on this cutie patootie this time. Okay, and we're going to do nose and cheeks. And you can do these like in different pinks. That's absolutely fine, but I'm making it easier on us today. Okay, let's insert all these fun little pieces. You're here for Jigsaw Puzzle Day, apparently. Yeehaw! One little cheek. Two little cheek. And again, using something sticky to hold down your parts, that way they won't walk off. <laughs> okay. Oh, ding! Unless you fling them across your desk, which happens. Oh, or they pop out altogether. Okay, there is a right way to fit these in because they're ovals, so they're not circles. <laughs> this one doesn't want to go in. Okay, little eyeball, it's time to go home. There we go. Okay, and then the schnozola. Okay, that's a good little baby. Come on. He has to go in at the right angle, otherwise it doesn't go in. There, this is almost like heart shaped. Okay, um, okay, we want a bow on this little fella, right? Absolutely. I'm pretty sure, pretty sure this will work as a collar. It's the room for the hat, but we're going to use it the other way. Okay, we're going to go blue to match his hat. Wee, 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 wee. And you know what? I'm going to try and do the base of the bow too. Let's see if we have room for that. Okay, let's start building this meow meow. Okay, let's put his hat on first. I know, they're so finicky, but they're so cute. Okay, love this die because I love critters. Critters are my favorite thing to put on Christmas cards. I don't know about you guys, but... Oh my God, you know what? I almost forgot. He has ears. Oh, golly gee, kitty without ears. That would be sad. Okay. So there's two parts to each ear. There's like the ear part and then there's like these little itty bitty teeny triangles for the insides of his ears. Oh my God. I can't believe we almost forgot his ears. Golly gee. Okay. I'm going to go a little bit lighter for the pink on his ears. This is an R01. Let me just get my little ears to stay. And then of course he's an orange kitty. So he has orange ears. Orange ears and color these all the way too. And then maybe he has um, his little bit of lines on his ears, right? Because he's cute that way. Because they're all cute. Okay. There. Phew. Almost forgot those. Little teeny dabs of glue. Like really ultimately tiny. Okay. Actually, you know what? They're going to have to go on first. Hang on. Hang on. Because he needs to have them put on his head. Because <laughs> that would help. Okay, I'm just cutting off that stray paper for the moment. Okay. And I don't know about you, but do things get stuck everywhere? Yeah. Okay, and of course you can put his ears wherever you want. See, I get this silly piece of paper that wants to stick to me. It's attracted to me. Okay, meow meow ears, meow meow, meow meow. I hope I put them on right, because <laughs> somehow they seem weird. Okay, you can attempt to put your little itty bitty and these triangles are slightly curved on one side to match his head the curvature of his head so there is a, a proper way <laughs> he's got like 
funny ears. Sorry. He's going to be a weird cat. <laughs> oh, he's my gimpy one. That's okay. We all have uh, <laughs> pets and people just like that, right? <laughs> I'm going to put his arms on his body so they're connected. Okay. Oh, geez, Allison. Okay, we're trimming that backer piece. And of course, it's going to stick to my scissors or something stupid. Okay. <laughs> Seriously, his ears look funny and I don't know why. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, chin. Just a little bit on the chin. For our booby. Our cute little bubby. And you know what? I think we'll just go with the bow because I think that collar is going to be overwhelming for him. Just, just going to look overwhelming. Okay. <laughs> so, just going to put a tiny dab of glue on the back of that bow. Come on, little fella. And then we're going to, it doesn't matter which way you do this. Okay, stick the bow on. The under piece. Okay. You could put this in the hair of your critter too. You know, like a hair bow. That would be cute. Okay. No, stay there. Be a good bow. Okay. <laughs> now, if I could just get it to stay. Okay. Be a good bow. Oh, now it's going to stick to my hand. Golly. Okay, you know what? We can't put it on until I put his paws on. Because they're going to cover his paws. That's okay. One, two, three. Easy peasy. They're going to be white. It's all good. See? Learn with Allison. <laughs> oh, bejesus. Okay. <laughs> oh. It's uh, quite a task to be talking to yourself in your room sometimes. I get a, a, a giggle over some of the things that come out of my mouth when I'm crafting or if I'm doing a video. <laughs> um, yeah, talking to yourself is kind of weird. Um, I had my husband uh, sitting in on one of my lives recently and I just, it was so weird to be talking to like you as in <laughs> my viewers and have him listen to what I was saying. I was like, wow, I must sound really strange. <laughs> there we go. There's our meow meow. Okay. Suck you, right? Okay. Let's do banners for our babies. So I, <laughs> I did both for you. It doesn't really matter. You can pick whichever one. There is a blank one, so or you could use just the base and stamp something on it. That would be super cute, but we're going this way. <laughs> okay. So this is our B95. Whee! It doesn't want to stay. Here we go. Oh, I must have got glue on that. That's all right. Okay, we need a base. Base, base, base. For this one, you just need to kind of do the ends. There we go. Okay, and then you basically just glue this little feller on top of that little feller. Come on. Just match up those arches. Press it down to hold it. And we'll do the other one in red. Okay. Red, red, red. Okay, slide this sucker off. There we go. And red. <laughs> you have to stay there. Thank you. That's much better. And again, this is making your own colored cardstock, right? It matches everything. <laughs> This is the beauty of cutting everything in white. Okay. Again, you need some 
Glue, glue, glue. Okay, match up those arches. Press, press, press. Okay, which one do you like better? Do you like the kitty or the puppy better? I, I want to know. I think they're both cute, but I want to know which one that you like. Okay, there and there. And while you guys are answering, I'm going to glue these suckers on. Because these are going to be our backgrounds that our little babies are going to be on. Because we're almost done, guys. Believe it or not. This is the fitty. You like both? Me too, Beth. <laughs> I like this one because it's, it's my marmar. He's my baby. He sleeps with me in my bed. He takes up more bed than I do. But he's my baby. Oops. Drop it with red glue on it. That's great. This, uh, the nice thing about Bare Layers glue is it dries clear. So you'll never see it. Okay. So we have some odd parts left, but that's okay. You do not need any more bits and pieces. Okay. Just tidy up my desk here. So we got room for all of our stiff. Okay. This is a brilliant tool. Get one. You need one if you don't already have one. <laughs> Holly likes the puppy. Karen likes both. Okay. All right. So let's just assemble these little muffins. We're going to put a good amount of glue on these. And they are fairly three dimensional. Which is kind of cool. And super duper cute. You know what? You could cut uh, some of their body parts out with like felt or a fuzzy cardstock. Because they do make fuzzy cardstock. Okay. Do do do. Antlers. Don't forget the antlers. Okay. Tweezers. And they just, they basically um, are the same arch on the bottom of their bodies that matches the arch of that oval. So I'm just pressing them down to make sure that they have good contact. Okay, and then we will adhere these parts on separately, like below them. Okay, so one last thing here. I am going to use this Echo Park. Uh, this is the Magic of Winter. This is their newly released um, paper pack. They also have, and I'll show you this one too. <gasps> this one's cute too. This one's called Snowed In. These are both available on 6x6 and 12x12. Um, I'm not a scrapbooker, but I bought the 12x12 for making winter envelopes. Yes, please. So... Now, I love, the reason why I used the stencil I did is because, okay, we might, I liked this paper. So this has the little tiny boughs on it, the little tiny pine pieces. So we're going to use it on the front of our card. And we're going to cut a panel for the front of our card that is quarter of an inch shorter on both sides so that we have a nice mat of white from our card. Okay, so this is going to go on here. Ba -ba -da -da. But before we do that, I think I'm going to put my kitty on the front of this one. So let's give her or him a little bit of glue. Okay. Whoop. And this way I know it's centered because I can see. Oh, so cute. Okay. And then we're going to adhere the banner. Below the meow meow. There we go. 
and you can decide whatever you could do it on the top as well there we go and then I know it's all centered so I can go in and hear it now and I feel better because my other one it was not centered I was like oh darn oh well handmade card that's better than worse okay Yes, they would make cute earrings. Absolutely. Okay, then we're just going to adhere this baby to the front and hope the heck that I got it in the right pot, spot. Okay. Da, 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 da. Oh, he cute. He cute. Okay, so this is what our puppy is for. We're going to put the puppy on the inside. Yes, please. Because he cute too. So the one thing that you may ask is, Allison, uh, where do you write stuff? Well, this is where you get to be creative. Okay, hang on one second. Let me just adhere this puppy down first. I'm going to put him a little bit higher in the window because we're going to put that banner down below him. Sorry, I have to look at him head on. thing with uh, glue, too, is that you can, you got a few seconds to play with it. So, as far as this card, what I would do um, to write a message to your recipient, I just, you could glue it to an actual card base, which is absolutely A-OK. -okay. But the other option is, is that it does have a back piece. Hang on, I'm just pressing this in so it's going to stay. So, you could write on this surface. You could write on the back, but you could also put it on another like fold out card base too, if you wanted more room. Like if you had like a family newsletter or something that you wanted to put in more information. So there's lots of opportunity to do that. It doesn't have to be written here. I mean, you could put a nice message there. That would be nice too. Just a, a simple message. Um, but this is all about the cute factor, right? So you'll find a way <laughs> to write something nice to the recipient. Yeah, so you can definitely put on something there. Or you could put a flip-up piece even too, another flap. And uh, that way you can write whatever you wanted on it. But isn't that cute? Oh my god, you guys have to get this die. And it's not even that expensive either, which I was like, what? That's crazy. So yeah, so Ray has them in the shop now. They are available for sale. This, again, is the Spellbinders Special Pet Delivery. Okay. And it comes with all of those dies that we made our little babies with, including that ornate oval. And then, of course, we have our gorgeous Magic of Winter 6x6 six six papers. Yum. And then don't forget what we started with, our cool tunnel card. There's three of these plus the dies, three cards. And let me, I'll just show you again. Don't forget about um, the glorious stencils, the warm wishes stencils. Great value for your money. Three stencils for a great price. Uh, the paper I used on my first card was from Lawn Fawn. And this is one of their newest ones. And it has stars all over it that are gold gold foiled. That's why it's all sparkly. Okay. Let's go. And I'll just take two minutes to show you some of the other versions that Photoplay makes. Uh, I think we'll go out a little bit here. Hang on one second. Oh, is it going to cooperate? Nope. There we go. Okay. So, this is, there's more than this, but I have four. So, we've used the tunnel card. This one is for A2 pop-up cards. This has six cards in it. Awesome. So, it has this little piece that allows something to pop out on the inside. Brilliant. There is the waterfall card. This makes three cards. And the reason why this doesn't have as many cards is because there's more layers. There's more pieces of cardstock that are involved and they they're basically all the same weight and all the same um uh 
stuff inside. So that's why there's only three, because it's a little bit more involved. And then this one is a shutter card. So this one has, if you've ever seen like your camera, this has pieces of paper that draw back as you fold back the pieces of the card and they reveal whatever you want in the center. So this card makes three shutter cards. Now the dies are not included, but sold separately. And I think the only die that you would need um, potentially is a circle die, which m most crafters you're already gonna have. You could also hand cut this, just trace a circle and hand cut it. And then you just have to be able to make the uh, dove tailed ends or the banner ends. And that's easy enough to do on your trimmer. But I mean, many options. There's more than just these four um available great gift option for somebody who wants to get into card making you could give them like a little kit you could do some pattern papers for the front you could do some die cuts to put on the inside or sentiment or something like that it would make a great gift but yeah i hope you enjoyed today we went a little bit longer but this is a little bit more involved card I wanted to show you this die because it's just so stinking cute. And I wanted to show you all the fun things that PhotoPlay has. So these are all in the shop. Take advantage of these uh, for your holiday cards because it takes the guesswork out of all those measurements and all those score lines. And you too can make some fun critter cards. Awesome. So if you haven't already commented... Uh, do so now and I will pick a winner in just a moment and I will post that in the comments section below and all you have to do is PM me my personal account under Allison Cope Israels and uh, I will put my name on there as well so that you know you just PM me your address and I'll send you this card awesome thanks so much for joining me today I hope I was able to teach you something and I'll see you again soon I'll see you on Sunday bye guys